Yo, what's going on guys? Good morning. So, um, as you can tell, I'm like super full of water. And that's the problem I think when you travel is that you're totally off your, your diet, off what you normally eat. And you really, it's like, okay, you should be tracking your food. The problem is when you're traveling, it's kind of hard to do that sometimes because they'll tell you how many calories it is, but they don't tell you the macro breakdown. And so people are often confused that, oh, well, just because it has 500 calories, you know, I can have four of them to, you know, get 2000 calories or whatever. And that's wrong because it's the way the macros break down because, you know, uh, fats have nine grams, you know, per, per calorie or whatever, and four for carbs and protein. So the way you break down those numbers is important if you're trying to feel good, have a good physique, and um, either lose weight or uh, recon. You know what I mean? So sure, it's great that they're tracked and you should track at least the numbers when you're out, but you're not gonna be able to track the macros, especially at like restaurants or whatever, cause um, it's just the way it goes. But last night I had a steak, so I was like feeling that. You know, you gotta get that protein in. But um, yeah, I, it was about trans state. And so I went down to the gym today at the hotel here because I'm literally in the middle of nowhere and there's no other gym except the hotel one. And um, they honestly have everything you really do need. Um, think of like a Planet Fitness type thing where the weights are only gonna go up to like 50 pounds, but the way you're gonna improve your um, workout and the way you get muscle and, and strength and all that in a place like this is not by pushing one rep tempo max one seconds. Okay, it's not like up, up like that. It's gonna be one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold, and then just continue this cycle. And you can even increase that to like five seconds and hold for two. You're basically changing the way the exercise is done. This way you're creating more resistance to overcome and you're still progressively overloading that because it's a different way of doing the same exercise, if that makes sense. And so just because you don't have a rack set or you don't have all the machines, that doesn't mean you can't you know, get a good workout in when you're out traveling around. And let's say there's no big commercial gyms nearby or any gyms whatsoever. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's what I did today. However, when I did wake up, I felt like I just totally was out of it. And um, you gotta get in that trance state where it's like, I'm not just going through the motions anymore. I'm not just, well, here I am, uh, not really engaged. You have to be like fully engaged. Think of yourself like in a VR game, virtual reality. Instead of just playing the game on the computer in 2D mode, because you're seeing it on the screen, you're, you're putting on the headset and you're inside the game now. You are the Call of Duty guy. You are driving that airplane or whatever. Um, you know, and, and I play those games sometimes and it really is immersive and you, and it forces you to get into the zone. When you're not in the zone, you're just kind of, eh. and, and you're not going to have a, a, a trash workout. You're not going to feel good. And you're going to wonder why your day is set up wrong. And your day will probably progress to be continually to stay bad. Um, why? Because that's happened to me multiple times. So, um, I ended up getting into this, into trans state mode. Um, right after my cardio, I started to get into the weights a little bit more. Use music, guys. I don't understand why some people go to the gym and they don't want to put music in. <laughs> Even if there is music playing over the loudspeaker, it's not enough to get you immersed. And that's why I think when people have their headphones in, it's a little bit easier for you to get totally immersed in what it is you're doing. Because the music is in your head, you know? It's not out here, it's, it's here. And so keep that one in mind uh, when you don't feel immersed in your workouts, when you don't feel immersed, when you're going to hang out with your boys, your friends, uh, when you're going on dates and you're just kind of like going through another motion. Um, Cause the girls can tell, okay? People can tell if you're checked out, okay? You want to check in. And um, yeah, that that's basically what happened today. I wanted to bring that up because, um, you know, to help you guys out, but, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, leaving today, going back home. So that's pretty nice. Um, gonna grab a quick shower real quick. Go have some of their breakfast downstairs. They have like some eggs and cereal, granola, that kind of thing, which is good enough for me. Um, Cause usually, like we said in a couple videos before, 
It's granola, oatmeal, uh, some sort of fruit, and some protein shakes. You know, um, so there you go. Hope you guys have a good day and um, look forward to uh, the next couple of days. It's going to be weird because I'm not going to be uh, working my normal hours. In fact, I'm probably going to work another weekend. This entire month is just totally busy. I'm still trying to work on my personal training certification, which I'm about 70% done. But um, man, trying to find time between working 40 hours and doing that and trying to have some sort of life and then going to the gym but the 40 hours is broken into 10 hour days so it's it's rough man and, and so um i feel you guys take care and i uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll uh, see you in the next video in a world full of fakeness and deception keep dominating your reality bro